Hey guys, in this InDesign tutorial, let's learn how to change the page size. Now I'm gonna show you how to change the page size of every page in your document, but also individual pages. So to change the page size of just your entire document, every page in here, I have three pages right now and they're facing, so I've got two next to each other in this spread. I can just go up to File, down to Document Setup. Now when you create a document, you'll go through this as well. So you'll choose your page size, but if you want to change an existing document, all you have to do is go to this page size section. Now there's lots of different presets in here you could select or you could just create a custom height and width. Now what if I wanted square? Well, I'm gonna go 8.5 by 8.5 inches and if you don't want it in inches, you can change your units in your preferences. But for this case, I've got it in inches. We can also preview it, which is nice. So now I have these square pages and I can hit okay. So that's how to change every page in your document. You can see in my pages on the right hand side, every page is now a square. What if I wanted to change individual pages? There's actually a page tool. The shortcut key for that is Shift P. And when I have the page tool selected, I can actually open up the properties panel and you notice I can change page, page size of individual pages, including the parent pages, which used to be called master pages, or even ranges of pages. So I could say two to three, and I could change a range of like these two pages. I could click and hold shift while I click and select multiple pages if I wanted to, or I could just click on one page here. I've got page three. I could change the size, maybe this one for whatever reason. I want it to be eight and a half by 11 again hit enter, and now this page is a different size than the page that's right next to it. So with the page tool, not only can you change page sizes, but look, we can do margins and columns too. So if I wanted to make this, uh, let's, let's go back. Let's say I just wanted to do different columns on either page. So this page I could select margins and columns and do three columns, hit okay. Could select this page over here, margins and columns, do four columns and hit okay. So now I can actually make all these individual adjustments to my pages. This is something that I didn't know as a beginner in InDesign. And once I figured it out, it made creating things like brochures much easier when you have to create one section of that just a little shorter than the rest. And that's how you can change page sizes here in Adobe InDesign. Let me know if you have any questions down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.